Shalom. When we begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm not sure what I'm going to entitle this lesson, but. I have a series of articles that uh, we're just going to read the headlines, okay? And uh, it's about what? America circling the drain. For as much as they try and put up a, a facade, a cloak on how uh, good the so-called stock market is doing, in reality, okay, is more jobs being lost, okay? You have more evictions going out. You have, uh, generally, this place is, is finished, okay? So, this first article is uh, from Business Insider. And it says, you come to work and you realize you have no job. Ruby Tuesday, employees say the chain is closing restaurants without warning staff. You see that? So, yeah, <laughs> they're completely... Closing down shop here in, in Babylon, okay? Is there and there's no mirth? There's no there's no uh, there's no getting back, okay? And that's a beautiful beautiful picture. You got the the U gone, the S gone, and the and the Y just fell. All right, let's go to the next article. Okay, this is from CNBC. Salesforce cut about a thousand jobs even as stock has record one day surge okay so why is the sale force cutting a thousand jobs and your stock has a record day surge where well, it's just a facade all right it's just a cloak it's, it's them uh fudging with the numbers all right and it's and it's uh them trying to hold on to what they have left Okay, because America is what? Circling the drain. All right, let's go to the next one. This is from USA Today. Bed, Bath, and Beyond to cut 2,800 jobs as company moves forward with cost-saving strategy. Why are they moving forward with cost-saving strategy? Because they're losing money, man. Okay, they're, they're, they're not uh, bringing in the amount of money as they were in previous years okay next article now this lord and taylor right it uh believe it was the oldest one of the oldest businesses here all right i think america has been established uh, i think the brother run brought it out 222 years and 219 of those years they've been at war so this company right has uh been here doing business since uh for for 194 years okay says lord and taylor is closing all of his stores after 194 years of business you see that and you know they was established with uh with slavery okay it says uh let's get the first paragraph on here lord and taylor the first department store established in the United States is officially going out of business, <laughs> ending nearly 200-year run. You see that? That's, 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 that's the work. So you how about you have man? All right? He's closing down all type of businesses here in Babylon the Great. Okay? Let's go here. It says, Coke, well, it's from CNC, Slakia. CNN business, Coke will offer buyouts to 4,000 workers in the U.S. and Canada. Why are they offering buyouts? Because they can't afford to pay them, okay? Instead of just firing them right off hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get the first uh, little bit of this article. Coca-Cola will cut 1,000 jobs and reduce its number of business units as it faces declining beverage sales in the pandemic. You see that? So this 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 so-called pandemic is really the works of Yahweh Shah. 
okay, on the left hand side, to what? To bring on the crash of the dollar, okay, which is going to in turn what? Bring on the mark of the beast, which is the RFID market ship, all right? Now, I've seen a, a, a video uh, about Elon Musk talking about that neural link and how it's going to help spinal cord injuries. Okay, and that's what part of the mark of the beast, those signs and wonders. Okay, this is all playing out the way you have by Shah wrote it up. Okay, let's go to the next article. All right, we got two more articles, then we're gonna get into the scriptures. This is from NBC News As virus rages, U.S. economy struggles to sustain recovery. Okay. Struggles to sustain recovery. All right, this place is is is, is done for. It says my income is basically cut in half. Paying our mortgage is going to be a struggle. Wow, hey, <clears throat> as a spirit going out of business, <laughs> America is going out of business. Babylon the Great is going out of business. Okay, everything must go. <laughs> <laughs> Call all your how about shower shy. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next article. <clears throat> and it says <clears throat> excuse me. The rise and fall of the suburb. How reflection of the American dream turned bland and why the homes are just kept and why the homes just kept getting bigger, okay? And, and and folks can't afford these homes, man, all right? You have folks doing mass exodus. You have, uh, we just read about the guy with the, talking about he ain't gonna be able to pay his mortgage, okay? Or oh, it's gonna be a struggle, all right? Yeah, this is the work of your how about shout shot on all fronts, okay? Now, let's get into the scriptures. Because this is the work that Yahweh said he was going to work in our day, right? Matter of fact, I got it queued up. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen in regard the wonder marvelously. Shalak ye, read this again. Behold ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told to you. Yeah, man. All right, starting with our apostles and elders on down, man. Laboring 35 plus years, all right? The the vision that Yahweh Shah had set out, all right, was being told, okay? But you had the mockers, the scoffers, all right, who, who didn't believe this work was going to happen in their days. They all, oh, man, I got time, man. Uh, it's not going to happen in ge this generation. Well, guess what, man? We're in the time of the last generation, man, before the kingdom of heaven is going to come, okay? Now, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. All right. Let me slide down here. Next chapter. This is Habakkuk 2 and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Yeah, so the, the men of the Lord, okay. They're they're actually um, taking heed and, and measuring the time diligently to see what prophecies are unfolding. Okay. And the Lord, Yahweh, answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it, okay? And that's what that's what we do, man. Starting with our apostles and elders on down, all right? They make these vision plain, okay, so we can know what time we are in. And then likewise, we relay that information, all the brothers on down, okay? Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay. So these words have been spoken. Okay. And, and now the vision is being made known. <clears throat> you see it coming to pass. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12. And verse 1. 
Remember now thou creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, man, these people are saying, I hate 2020. <laughs> they have no pleasure in this year, man. But the men of the Lord and ones likewise, we praising Yahweh by Shah Shah for bringing his work to pass, man. Okay, all the things that he said he was going to do, he's he's made good on. All right, you know, from from the uh, from the stay of bread, <clears throat> you know, for for uh, these different businesses closing down because they they don't have uh, anybody to purchase those goods. Okay, from the people not having jobs, man. These are the words of your heart, shot. These are the evil days that are coming. Okay, and for those who've been seeking your heart, shot, shot, while he may be found, Lord willing, we're going to be protected in that day. All right. Verse two, while the sun or light or moon or the stars be not dark. And yeah, the wisdom in this place is going to be gone. Okay. Cause they're not going to be able to understand, well, how did this happen? Well, this happened and this happened. No, it's all gone. Nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease. Because they are few, and those that look out of the window shall be dark. And yeah, they don't see any hope in America, okay? These things that they say going to make America great again, it's not going to happen, all right? Why? Because these are the birth pains that Yahweh Bashar Shah has sent out, these plagues. And they're not turning back, okay? It's just going to get worse. Verse 4, and the doors be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, okay, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, your early risers, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low, okay, and, and, and that's going to happen too, all right, you had for a while that crazy bitch slacking, like excuse my Swahili, Cardi B, you know, she was mad that she couldn't go out to the club and, and show off all her, her, her little outfits, okay, that's the uh, Daughters of Music being brought low, okay? Now, let's go to the second Ezra, chapter 6, and let's start at verse 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish shall be finished, then will I show these tokens, yeah, these signs, okay? The books shall be opened, before the firmament. And yeah, the books are open before the firmament. How? Because they're coming down from those satellites. From these video epistles that brothers put up. Okay? Revealing the works of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Again, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. Yeah, this place is finished. Okay? Then will I show these tokens. The books shall be open before the firmament. And they shall see all together. Yeah, man, anybody can watch these videos, okay? You had uh, the YouTube uh, president uh, or CEO said that the people <laughs> had to get counseling, man, all right? Why? Because they watching the prophets of the Lord telling them, prophet of the Lord telling them what their fate is, all right? And they see it's coming to pass and they're bugging out, okay? It says, the children of a year old shall speak with their voices the women with child shall bring forth untimely children of four, it's like a three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You see that? And that's what's going on. All right. The sown places appear unsown. Okay. And the storehouses being empty. All right. You know. All these different businesses firing and closing. Okay, don't don't forget before all this happened, we had a retail apocalypse going on, man. Okay? This is before the COVID-19. All right? This is your how about shot shot working on the left hand side. All right. This uh destroying these different establishment of Babylon the Great. What does the scripture say? That the Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Okay? He he these are war tactics strategies that he's laying out for babylon the great okay 
Let's go to Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Mactosh, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Okay, and that's what's happening, man. Okay, the merchants are being cut down. All right, your 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 money is no longer going to be worth anything once this hyperinflation hits. Okay, man, it's gonna it's gonna get real bad out here, man. Twenty dollars for a loaf of bread. All right, verse twelve, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Yeah, that's your how by Shabbat searching the people. Okay. And punish the men that are settled on their lees, that say in their heart, the Lord will do not good. It's like the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah. All right. You, you, you got your uh, main guy, Bishop Nathaniel, saying there's no, not going to be Jacob's trouble. Okay. He says he's not going to do any evil. All right. And your pork chop pastors. All right. Your politicians make America great again. Okay. Well. Yeah. They're let, they're rested on their leaves, okay. And you, the men of Yahweh by who who who's rested on the leaves, they're going to be punished, okay. Verse thirteen. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof, okay. And that actually went into the curses, all right? But Yahweh Bashar Shah said what? He's going to, once Israel, matter of fact, let's just go get it. He said once Israel comes back, all right, to, to the understanding of who they are, the, the hopeful elect, he's going to turn all these curses back on our enemies, okay? This is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whether the Lord thy power have driven thee. So what are you talking about, vocab, that we were scattered into all nations, man? You finished. You out of here. Okay? Now let's jump down to verse 7. Let's get to the point. This is the reason why, okay, we, we turn, matter of fact, let me continue to read. It says, and shall return unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, and shall obey his voice to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord, thy power, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all nations, whether the Lord, thy power, have scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord, Yahweh thy power, gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord, thy power, will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed. Yeah, you're going to be what? Have those new bodies, okay? Well, you're not going to go off. To love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And this is the point, verse 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, okay? So those curses, all right, us being uh, planting vineyards and not being able to drink the wine, all right? You got uh, in California, all right, those vineyards that uh, were uh, over there, guess what? They're not going to be able to make any wine as yet because of all the smoke, okay? And the fires are destroying certain vineyards, all right? These are your how about shell shot, turning the curses back on our enemies. Okay, let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. How are you going to flee? You think you're going to run to a different 
part of the world. No, he's talking about flee spiritually. Come out of ways of Babylon the Great, okay? Don't stop celebrating these wicked hella days, okay? Don't don't eat pork, these unclean abominations that Yahabashah told us not to do. That's how you flee out of the midst of Babylon, okay? Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, okay? It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken and the nations have drunken her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain? If so, she may be here. Yeah, if so, she may be here, right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, okay? The wickedness of this place has reached up unto heaven, man. All right? And that's why Yahweh Bashar Shah is judging this place. Little by little, okay? He's, he's hitting here, here and there. All right, body blows, as it were. All right, and then when he dropped the guard, how about Shah Shah going to come out with the knockout punch? Really, really soon, man. All right, now this place is not going to be healed. Okay, let's go to Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. The Lord, Yahweh, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. As a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. That's right, man. We are in spiritually Edom, Edom uh, spiritually Egypt, and spiritually Sodom. Okay? Pursuing the Revelations 11. All right? Pursuing the what? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You will be sold into Egypt again with ships. Okay? Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do okay and that's where we at man all right there's no work for egypt man okay let's go to james chapter one and verse nine let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted yeah yeah how about shower shy is going to exalt the lowly all right he's going to exalt the meek israelites man all right, those the ones who who's uh understood this word and tried to do what Yahweh shall say do. All right, they're going to be exalted in their time. Okay? But the rich in that he is made low because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away, okay? And these these uh so-called rich people, all right? They're going to be put away by. Him. They're going to be put away. Okay, as it were. This is James chapter 5 and verse 1. Go to now ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Yeah, man. All right, you you had, uh, we'll go back to that article. That guy said, my wages have been cut in half. It's going to be a struggle to pay my mortgage. Go to now ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Yeah, they've, they've heaped treasures together for the last days, right? Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cryeth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabah. Oh, that's right, man. Yahweh Shah hears the cries of, of, of the Israelites, man. All right. We, we sign and crying constantly to him to, to deliver us out of this, this captivity. 
Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doeth not resist. Yeah, man. All right? And the just are the Israelites. Okay? They ain't resisting you. All right? You, you kill Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for sport. Okay? Be patient, therefore, brethren. Yeah. Wait till your how about shall shall rise up to the prey. Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. Yeah, you, when once that number is sealed, all right, he's coming back with vengeance and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, yeah, establish your mind, for the coming of the Lord draw of nine. Man, that's where we at, man. We, 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 we at the coming of the Lord draw of nine. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord will has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. Who are my teachers? All right. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity and a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. This place is finished. It's circling the drain. We almost out here. Shalom.